In 1974, construction workers in Romania were working at a village called Aiud, near the River Mures. At a depth of 30 feet of sand, they stumbled upon several very strange objects. Two of these objects ended up being bones from a mastodon, a distant relative of the elephant that is believed to have gone extinct 11,000 years ago. The third object was this mysterious wedge-shaped object it drew such interest that they took it to an archaeological institute to have it analyzed. What they discovered is absolutely amazing. It was made up of 89% aluminum and 6% copper, and it had 12 elements all together. Aluminum didn't come into existence until 1829. So where did the wedge come from? And with that type of composition as well, 12 elements, there's a lot of theories where it came from, but nobody's really sure. Aluminum is one of the metals that's very common now, and we think of using it all the time, but it was a metal that humans worked with very late in our history. We didn't really work with aluminum and aluminum alloys until well into the 1800s. The whole story of the Wedge of Aoud is so curious because it was found under 35 feet of sand and silt with mastodon bones. And since mastodons have been extinct for 10 or 12,000 years, we now have the curious idea that this wedge is over 10,000 years old. This is baffling to archeologists. It's an object that they say just couldn't exist. And an object like that would probably have to be coming from some very high-tech civilization, probably extraterrestrials. An aeronautical engineer who saw the Ayud wedge looked at it and said, that's a piece of a landing gear for a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Ancient astronaut theorists have also looked at this wedge and surmised that it's possible that it's part of a crashed extraterrestrial craft. This is very interesting because it opens up the possibility that what we have with the Ayud wedge is in fact hard physical evidence of extraterrestrial visitations as long ago as 11,000 BC.